one, a new week has started and we are about to prepare ourselves with a trading plan, uh, hopefully making some profits this week. Now greetings from Sofia, the weather here is cold but it's about to get warmer by the end of the week so we hope that we get on a heat streak and make some money. This week plan will be based on the Euro Japanese yen uh, currency pair and I have prepared with only one scenario, it's a buy. Uh, as you can see on the weekly time frame the price have reached a weekly support area right here where it stopped before and made a nice swing up. Also I want to notice here that when turning the moving average indicator with uh, 200 period settings we can see that right here it acted as support, uh, sorry as resistance before being broken and now the price has retraced back touching it so we expect for the moving average to act as support this time combined with this weekly support area and a new move up to uh, happen by the end of the week. Now as usual the trading plan is made on the H4 time frame so I'm turning that on where we will look for entry points and we'll set targets. As you can see I have marked the buy zone from this weekly support area at around a price of 128 uh, 129 until a price of 137. Before that we have uh, two H4 stoppage areas which will be our uh, two primary targets and this is uh, those are areas where uh, the daily time frame has formed a resistance levels and uh, there is a possibility for the H4 uptrend to stop there or consolidate there so we can uh, look for those spots in order to either look for another entry or to take in some of the profits we made. Currently the price is uh, pretty low and the pair is being traded at 130.13 uh, uh, my expectations are for the price to uh, constantly continue up today and tomorrow probably with a lower pace but by the end of the week to um, the moves to become uh, stronger and uh, the uptrend to accelerate I will post this plan on TradingView so you can see how it developed by the end of the week and we will look for possible entries either on the H4 time frame, maybe on the uh, 30 minutes time frame, uh, which we will post on our Twitter page. So uh, remember to follow us there. Now this is the technical analysis. I just want to take a look at the economics for this week and the economic calendar. Let's see what we have there. So uh, today we had the French domestic product report which came out early this morning uh, and uh, came out as expected with 2.5% reading. Until the end of the day we don't have any other rep important reports uh, for the either for the Euro or for the Japanese Yen. Uh, tomorrow again we'll have a blank day uh, in regards of those two currencies, uh, there are no reports scheduled, so my expectations are for the uh, price to remain stable. On Wednesday, uh, we have three medium importance reports. Uh, those are the German consumer confidence early in the morning and later in the evening we have two reports from Japan, the retail trade and large retailer sales. Those reports might bring some volatility to the market, but I don't expect them to bring a long-term change in the price movement. Now, Thursday uh, will be a more, more rough day. 
Uh, we are starting off the day with two high importance reports from Germany early in the morning at 7.55 GMT or 9.55 Bulgarian time. And gear up for a bumpy ride. So by the end of the day, there will be a few more reports, both uh, for Germany and a few from Japan later in the evening. The jobless rate, industrial production and loans and discount crop corp. Uh, there is a high chance we'll see a lot of volatility. What are my expectations for that day? I expect uh, the euro to continue its hot streak uh, and uh, the German economy to continue growing boosting the currency to new heights. Now on Friday, it will be a pretty uh, slow day probably. Uh, it's the closing day of the week and um, not much volatility is, expecting, is expected caused by uh, reports. During the night between Thursday and Friday, we'll have two reports uh, coming out from Japan with medium importance. Uh, and they might cause a slight change in the price movement, but I don't expect it to be huge. Nevertheless, uh, reposition your stop losses and take profits accordingly before those reports. Also, remember that Friday is the day when traders clo close their positions, so we might see a reversal uh, in the overall trend. Remember to subscribe to, for our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Twitter so you can receive notifications when we post either a new video or a live sign -on. I will make a recap video at the end of the week uh, for this plan and how it developed. And of course, if we had any trades, I will also post a few uh, tra short-term trading plans for the day traders in you. Remember to uh, subscribe and follow us on that. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you throughout this week. Have a nice and profitable week.